Hi, this is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at my collection of Lockby products. I have a pocket notebook, a quattro pen pouch, and a tool roll. Now, the pocket notebook is the only one that I bought with my own money. In fact, I bought two of them. I bought the brown and the navy blue. I couldn't decide which color I wanted. And I ended up keeping the brown, and I sold the blue one to my sister. I've been using this for about a year and a half, and I'll talk about what my experience has been with it. Lockby contacted me a couple months ago and asked if I would like to try the Quattro pen pouch and a tool roll, and I said, sure. So they sent these out, and I've been using them for a couple months, and in just a minute, I'll talk about how I've been using them and what I think about them. I'll put some timestamps in the description so you can jump to whichever product you're interested in. I've always liked the the rugged look, the durable look of the Lockby products, and I've been watching reviews of them for quite a while. And I decided I wanted to get one of the pocket notebooks. I wanted to use it kind of like a in place of my purse if I wanted to carry something light with me so I got one I was at first I was I don't know if I was disappointed is maybe too strong of a word but I was yeah I guess maybe a little disappointed by how thin it was I I couldn't pack it as full of as much stuff as I had originally wanted to but after a while I decided that's actually a good thing. I don't want a whole lot of stuff. If I want if I want to take a whole lot of stuff with me, I need to just take my entire purse. I've changed a few things or I've kind of made this my own. Originally, it had one of these type of zipper pulls, just a little short zipper pull, but I bought some gold paracord to match the the little label and to match the lining. Because I wanted to be able to hang it from my wrist. This is a little bit big for me to carry in a pocket. I have some jeans that I can put this in a back pocket, but it is kind of big and bulky. Men would probably have an easier time carrying this in a pocket, but women's clothes typically have no pockets or very small pockets. So this has been really handy. Another change that I made was instead of using the included notebook, which is a very good notebook, it has a sewn binding and it's got Tomoe River dot grid paper, I'll probably end up using this for like ink reviews or something. This was too nice to use just for a everyday throwaway notes. So I've got my machine era field pen twist that fits in here nice and snugly but not too tight. It's easy to pull out. In fact, I had this in my back pocket at the St. Louis Pen Show, and I was pretty busy. Occasionally, I would need my pen. I had a little notebook of information that I was uh, marking stuff out and making notes in. Not this notebook, but I had this in my back pocket, but I could just reach back there and pull out my pen, and the pen pocket stays kind of stretched out so without looking I could just reach back there and put my pen back in it but if you decide you don't want to carry a pen in it it goes back to its normal size pretty easily now you can still kind of see where the pen was but if you give that a couple of days like the stretch marks will wear back in and look almost normal and it'll go back to just being perfectly flat. In fact, I've carried a bigger pen than this. I had one of the full-size Bastion Titanium pens in there. That was the original, or that was one of the pens that I carried in it. I also carried the Modern Fuel. It fit in there nicely. But now, this is my everyday carry pen, and it just fits in there perfectly. But one of the other changes that I've made is instead of the notebook, I made my own, this is just a prototype, I made a notepad. I want to be able to open it up and there are my notes. So 
I took a piece of cardboard and just folded it in half. I took some rhodia paper and just cut it down to the same size. Actually, did I cut it the same size? I may have cut it a little bit smaller. Yeah, I cut it a little bit smaller. I had some book binding glue and just glued it together and glued it to the cardboard. And now as I use it up, I can make another little notepad, glue it to, back to the cardboard. I really like my notes being right here. The only downside is uh, if I'm taking like a, a quick note, my gel pen, you know, gel pens take a little while to dry. Let me let me test this actually. Maybe it dries quicker than I realize. I had a little blotter sheet to set on there, which is not the most convenient when you're opening it up and you're trying to keep track of that. I'd rather not have to use that. So, well, it's okay. Immediately it smears a little. One. Okay, after five seconds, it's still smeared a little bit. So, my concern is I don't want to get black stuff over here. What I thought about doing was leaving the front sheet and making my notes over here and then having that would be like a built-in blotter sheet. But the only downside is then we're back to having to open it up to see my notes. I don't know. This is a work in progress, but I, I like this concept better than the actual notebook for like quick notes and they're easy to tear out. I keep I keep all the essential stuff in here like my insurance card, credit cards, a couple of credit cards, my ID, a little bit of cash, and I keep this in my purse that way if I need to make just a, a quick trip with the dog and I don't want to have to fumble with my purse, I can just grab this and go. I really like this. I don't have any desire to switch this out for something different. Now, what this replaced was a little traveler's notebook. Now, this is smaller, and it fit in my pocket a little bit better, but it was still kind of bulky. And I wasn't worried about losing credit cards because I had little flaps and had the zipper pouches, but it was maybe a little more fumbly getting to like my credit cards and stuff, and I didn't have the best solution for keeping a pen with this. The, my solution was I had a, a pocket pen that I just carried separately in my pocket. So I'm really, I'm really happy with this solution. And after I'd been using that for a while, Lockby contacted me about these two products. Now, these are two products that I was intrigued by, but there were little things about them that I didn't really think I needed them. I'm going to talk about the Quattro first. The original iteration of the Quattro had one side with the pin openings at the top and one side with the pin openings at the bottom. I was a little leery about that. I was kind of worried about maybe one side, you open it up and the pins fall out. But in this latest iteration, they're, both of the openings are at the top and it fits my favorite pins. I've got a collection of four favorite pins and they fit in here perfectly. The Vanishing Point is the other favorite pen, and it's inked up right now. But there's not much to be said about this. I just like it. It's a good size. Now, hold on. Let me. I've got one, uh, one pen that I need to go grab real quick. Okay, I, I actually brought two more pens up here. I got a couple of larger pens at the pen show, and so my Masterpiece Grande is going to be, let, let me see if it'll fit. I think it's, the main problem is it's too wide. I don't want to force it. Yeah, that cap band makes it a little too wide. So my 
Penlux Masterpiece Grande doesn't fit. And mm, my Twisby Vac 700 Iris is just a little too tall. So most standard size pens will fit in here nicely. I have a Leonardo Memento Zero. So I don't know. That fits in there perfectly. I don't know if the Memento Zero Grande would fit. But the Visconti Mirage Mythos fits in there nicely. And my Pilot Custom Heritage 92 is a nice fit. And my Vanishing Point fits over here nicely. Before I got the Quattro, one of the little cases that I used for carrying pens and pencil in was the little Smart Fit case, but it doesn't offer as much protection for your pens. I use this to carry like my little Steel Nib Pilot Pen Collection. I had two of these, one of them for all my 78Gs and then one for like uh, all my other pens like what did I have a Metropolitan and a Prera and a few other steel nib pens that I didn't mind if they were touching and kind of bumping together so this is not a case that I wanted to carry my nicer pens in this offers a little more protection it is possible that you could have when you close it have some pens possibly bumping together up here at the top just a little bit but since the openings are offset you can see they are fairly well protected and isolated from each other. And I leave the, instead of putting the clips on the outside, I leave the clips inside the little pouches so you don't have those bumping together. So it's a pretty well thought out case. All right. The only thing I might change about this is the, the pocket out here is a little bit shallow. I don't know if you want to... I don't think that would hold that securely. Like if you just want to set it in there on your desk to keep it, keep everything together, but, or even like having it in a bag, if you just want to use that as a pocket, if you have this setting in a purse or in a bag and you don't want your, your pen flopping around loosely, this works as like a, a bag in bag solution. But maybe if that was a little bit deeper of a pocket, like on the pocket notebook, move the the label up here to the top and make that pocket a little bit deeper. I don't know. Maybe they have a reason that they did it like this. Maybe they don't intend for you to put pins in there. Maybe this is for little slips of paper, a little notebook, or some uh, post-it notes or something. But overall, I'm very happy with the Quattro. Now, the tool roll is one that... I kind of had to think about how I wanted to use this. This is a a product that always interested me, but I didn't know how I would use it because I don't really want to put pins in it. That's I prefer pin cases. I just think it's easier to get to your pins. I know some people enjoy their pin rolls and I, it's a it's a nice way to store pins. But one day I was looking for something in my car. The vehicle I have has a glove box, but it doesn't have a console. So stuff is just thrown in the glove box. And I thought, all that little loose stuff, I could organize it in here. I don't have a whole lot of stuff in here, but uh, when you're looking for something, it's nice to have it all in one place. So... What I was looking for was my tire pressure gauge. So I've got that in here. And I went just looking around the house. What are some things that, you know, would be nice to have together in there? So I put a flashlight in here. I've got a little crescent wrench. Now, I'm not going to be working on my car. These are not items that I need for my car, but items that I might need when I'm out and about. One thing I'm, I can't find is I thought I had a little no-name multi-tool. I know it used to be in my vehicle, but apparently I've got it and used it and didn't put it back. I want to put that right here. So that that's just another reason I need something like this to keep everything together. I have a little moleskin notebook that I can keep track of car maintenance stuff. Now, originally I had a little Parker Jotter in here, 
but I was worried about it being out in the hot car, it leaking ink. My daughter had like a full size, or not full size, but the extra large Parker Jotter, and she had it in her suitcase for a couple years, and this last time that she got it out, it had leaked, and we ended up having to throw it away. The whole inside of the the pen was gummed up. It wouldn't click right. It was just all sticky in there. So I don't have a pen in here. Maybe I'll put a pencil, find a, a an inexpensive pencil to put in here. But I've also got over here in the zipper pouch, I've got some matches, band-aids, and some disinfectant wipes. And so I like this. This folds up nicely. It's nice durable material, a nice heavy clasp. You can adjust it for how big your roll ends up being. I, I just like this little setup and I've got plenty of room for it to grow as I find stuff that I wanna keep in here just to add it to it. I, I ended up being really excited about this. This is nice. A couple of things I've noted when I first got it, the little clat, I guess the little hook was in this first loop. And in that first loop, it's, I don't know if I'll be able to show it, but you don't have quite as much room because where the material has been folded over, it's, there's a little bit of extra material in there. So on each end, it's difficult to get the, the loop in. And once you get it in, it's hard to get it out. So these two loops are the main usable ones. And it takes a little fiddling to get used to it. But once you hook it and unhook it a few times, it becomes a little more natural. As I say that, I'm fiddling with it. But I like it. It's nice and secure. Now these two are... a, a newer and they don't get as much wear and tear because I just put the stuff in them that I need to store and just set them somewhere. This one, the pocket notebook, goes in and out of my pocket, in and out of my purse. And you can see it's the material is a little more soft. I guess the, the wax part of the wax canvas kind of wears a little bit, but still feels very durable. Overall, I've been really happy with these. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.